In this video, we're going to explore one of the fan favorite tracks from our soundtrack to The Witcher and take a look into some of the instruments that we recorded for it. Here we go. Tomorrow, I'll leave Blaviken for good. This track was born out of improvising its harmonic progression on a harp. I've never had any prior experience playing a harp. We got a harp specifically for the Witcher soundtrack, and as soon as it arrived, I started playing around with it, and that's how Renfrew's theme was born. One of the most prominent elements in this track is, of course, vocal, singing the main melody line. We have applied a lot of different reverbs and delays to these vocals to achieve that 360 effect. Renfrey's theme is all around Geralt, she's calling him. such a special character. She only appears in the first episode. However, she stays with Geralt throughout the whole season, throughout all his adventures. Renfrey is a part of Geralt. Therefore, her music theme is also a part of Geralt's theme. It derives from the Song of the White Wolf. To give this theme a bit of a folk touch, Johnny came up with a riff that he performed on Hammer Dulcimer. He also doubled the melody on a cane flute in the high register. Renfrey's theme develops throughout the whole season in different variations and forms. First, it appears in Tomorrow I'll Leave Blaviken for Good. Here it's soft, it's romantic, it's intimate, it's even fragile. Later on, it comes back again and it's an ultimatum, but here it's completely different. It's aggressive, it's edgy, it's even violent. Renfrey's theme comes back again in episode 3 in a track called A Gift for the Princess. It's a conversation scene between Geralt and Foltest. Geralt gives Foltest Renfrey's brooch and their Therefore, her theme comes back again. Geralt wasn't able to save Renfrey, he wasn't able to save this princess. However, now he has a chance to save another princess. A double bass provides the low end support. Unfortunately, we just don't have the footage of our string section recording, but here's our handwritten sketch of the strings parts. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope it gave you a little glimpse into our process behind creating the soundtrack for Netflix The Witcher. And let us know if there are any other tracks you'd like us to discuss.